It's a beautiful day in Colombo, and I'm on my way to meet mixologist Rusty Servan at the Dilma Tea Lounge to discover some unique new ways to use tea. Hi, hey, Rusty. Titi. Nice to see you. Well, Rusty, I'm used to drinking hot teas, but you have other ideas. So let's start with uh, iced tea as a first. What we need to do is use the fresh squeezed lime. Mm -hmm. Then instead of sugar, mm -hmm. though we use honey water, so it's a half and half with the honey. We're, as the base, we use a pomegranate and mint Dilmach tea. Okay, and this is? Uh, so this is pre-brewed before. Yeah. Now it's, uh, so it's cooled cool down a little yeah, bit. It's cooled down, mix it all together. Mm -hmm. And then uh, to make it a little bit more fancy and more exciting for the people, we bring up a little bit of ginger inside the, uh, the bottle in here. So the fresh ginger gives like a nice uh, spiciness and kick and, you know, excitement to the people. Oh, wow. Yeah. And to make it a little bit more beautiful for, uh, for your guests, just garnish it with a beautiful mint on the top and one wheel of lime. Here is the, the our take of the iced tea. Oh, it's really fresh and it's very intense. You've got a lot of acidity, which is very fruity from the lime. You've got the tea is coming through. I really love this, but what else have you got? For sure. In this case, we do a small, like a short version of, uh, of the mocktail or tea drink. We use a, uh, the syrup will be made out of uh, Dilma with uh, apple pie and vanilla tea. Just do the very strong brew of, mm -hmm. the, of the tea and then you just put a half and half with the, with the sugar. So then instead of classic sour element, when we need to have some balance. So in this case, I use the yogurt. So just kind of like a two or three uh, spoons of the, of the yogurt. And as a base in this case, mm -hmm. we used a uh, fresh apple juice you know, from the green apples, and it highlights the, the fruitiness inside the syrup. And just break down the few cardamom pots, and it just gives a nice balance inside uh, all the mixture. So let's do a proper shake to that. Here we go. So it will have the silkiness, the milky texture, and on the top, cardamom as a garnish, so just literally one pot or two pots on the top. <laughs> Here you go. Lovely. You've got that little, little hint of the, the floral, light, light notes of the green cardamom. Oh, this is, I could live off of this. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>